Okay, quick little video. Um, had people asking, what's Discord all about? What's Jackbox all about? How's this going to work? What do I need to do? So here's a little video that's going to walk you through step-by-step, -step, setting up an account, logging in, and getting an idea of what to expect when this happens tomorrow or Sunday or any other time I play games through Discord. Um, pretty cool stuff. First thing, we're going to jump over to the Discord website. Um, if you don't already have an account, hopefully you've got some experience with creating accounts on the internet now. It, it's kind of a part of life now. So go through, give it your email address, um, use your username, uh, can be you know typically username creation stuff um, and then you give it a password once you've gone through all of that you'll be logged into the discord website so this is the website um, your chat is here in the middle you can see chat with individual people um, through the icon on the top as you add channels over at the left side of the screen here, you'll see different channels. So like this this blue one, that's my channel. That's the Uncle Toy Box channel. Um, I've got Bluffs Trivia League. So I, I play uh, trivia with those guys um, from Toronto in the Bluffs Pinball League. It's awesome, a lot of fun. Um, I've got a Dungeons and Dragons group, a couple, uh, actually, yes, yeah, so there's Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, there's a, another video game I play, they have a chat. Uh, we play Magic the Gathering, another Dungeons and Dragons group, um, some pinball discussion, um, and another pinball discussion. So this is really a cool way to see how, or to keep it in touch with specific groups of people and to have chats. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Discord for that. Now, within Discord, when you go to a channel, you can have just the text channel. And this can be viewed through a browser, no problem. This is a lot of fun. You can you see how we have discussions, and I've helped people get things set up. So you've got your discussion there. You'll also be able to see who's online within that group off to the right side of the screen. So you're not going to know most of these nicknames. Um, we'll get to that later. But, uh, so right here, it's all just typing pure text. You go over to your channels, and you'll see there are voice channels. So when I've got Jackbox Game Time enabled, and this is who's talking. So right now, I'm the only person in my channel. That's fine. Probably a good thing, actually. Um, you can mute my own mic. See, and so now the, there's no green circle around the mute symbols there. Um, yeah, it says, hey, it's not working. So now I, I can turn it back on and it'll allow that. Um, I can also go into my settings and under voice and video, there are a couple of cool things. So you want to double check your input. Right now I'm using this microphone. My output, I'm listening through the headphone. You can adjust your volume. Um, yeah, there's a mic test there. You can set it up so that anytime it detects noise, it'll transmit. But let's say you don't have a nice handy headset with a, a mute button. Um, you know, you're using a tabletop mic or something else. Or you just really want to reduce your how often you talk. You can turn on push to talk. In the browser, this only works if the browser tab is active. Um, I'll show you a little bit about the app in a minute. We'll get there. So I've got my shortcuts key set up to the letter Z. Z. Take your pick. Um, so when this is enabled, so now I'm going to escape, and you'll notice that there's no green circle around Uncle Toy Box, even though the mic is not muted. So now if I hold the letter Z down, or Z, take your pick, um, now I've got my green circle, so now I can talk and I know that I'm being uh, picked up. So, no Z, Z, no Z, Z, piece of cake. Um, when the channel's running, let's say somebody's really loud or quiet and you need to um, adjust that, um, you should be able to, where is it? There it is. Um, you can adjust the volume 
actually, I don't, I think that may be a feature of the app. So this is where I'm going to say it's going to prompt you to download the app. I highly recommend doing that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn off the push to talk. I, uh, my headset's pretty good. I've got decent, um, control over my, I, I use my mute button here. So if I'm going to have a drink or uh, eat some chips or something, or somebody comes into the room to talk to, So now, so that just lets me mute the mic off physically, not worrying about software interacting. So that's a handy thing to have. But I'm going to get out of this browser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, here is the Discord app. And it looks a lot like the web page. You've got your channels on the left, your individual chats within a channel, who's in that group. Um, it's all right there. And you can see here's my, it's telling me that I'm connected to another client. I'm going to turn off that. I'm going to turn off that. So there's this. Let's go back here. So now notice how I left the web browser. So it left that. So I'm going to join back in. And it says, hey, I've got it. And now I've got something new. I've got the ability to stream a video. This is where you need to install the client. If you want to play the game, you have to install the client. Um, this is what allows you to see what I'm streaming. So for now, yeah, so there's why I'm going to be playing a game for 13 minutes. Um, where is, I thought this had volume control. Profile meant to... Anyway, um, from here, you can... I'm going to... I know I'm jumping all over this. Here, you can also change your nickname. So I'm expecting a lot of people you don't know to be playing. So I'm going to change this from Uncle Toybox to Joe S. So when everybody's in this channel, they're going to see me as Joe S. Um... So here I do my test. Now what's cool is I go back into this and my other channels and I'm still Uncle Toybox. But here in this one, I'm now Joe S. So you've got Discord set up. At this point, this is an awesome chat platform. You can keep in touch with people. You can send individual messages. You can have group chats. You can organize games. And now comes the magic moment. I'm going to start streaming the game. So Jackbox Party 5, and it's in that channel, so I'm going to hit go live. So now, this should... Okay, where did it go? Okay, so now this is showing what I'm streaming right there. So I can see the game is up. Um, I'm going to do this. Bang. And so here's the game. So I've got it nice and quiet. So I can make it. But when you stream this, you'll have the option to make it stream. This is You Don't Know Jack. Or I should say, this game is You Don't Know Jack. Um, plays up to eight players. It's loud. Okay. You can play Split the Room. Also up to eight players. Mad for City. Um, the games themselves are a lot of fun. There's a whole bunch of party games. Let me go back to the settings. So there's a whole bunch of party games in here. And you're going to be seeing them up on the screen. Now, when I launch a game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start up. I'm going to turn the volume way down. Okay. So when I start the game, I'll start with You Don't Know Jack. Um, so from the game, I launch the game. It's going to come up nice and big. And it's going to load up. And it's going to give us information on how to join the room. So... Binge mode is revolutionizing to... main menu screens. Okay, so we're gonna say select. 
Let's get it connect. So now what I'm Some doing. Some critics say Binge Pipe isn't a real streaming service. It's I'm just a framing device for a video game. Go open up my These phone critics now. are entitled this is to why their you opinions both and their privacy. And a phone. So, don't so I'm going to go them. to my web browser <laughs> and I'm going to type in jackbox.tv. That's the domain. I'm going to say, okay, there's my four letter room code. There's my four letter room code so ozaz or ozaz if you're in the u.s or oh i'm a single Walker, parent i'm a bit of a scam so i I'm hit play average consumer we are binge pipe and it adds me to the group well, the following binge pipe programming once is everybody's in liquid dirt then liquid dirt. all the like first player to join Objection. actually has the ability to Your watch Honor, the this game is so just that a tugboat in a trench once you're in you're going to be Playing the game, seeing Please. what's on the screen, Don't put me in. and doing your input really from your phone. Thing going here, just sitting and on the bench. you're going to have all the chat happening through playing. Discord. Please. It's a lot of fun. Trust okay, me, it's a so good time. If you can get the so I'm going to just go to uh, get out of there. So we're out of the Jackbox for now. A binge pipe main menu screen offers a little something for everyone. There. So there's Jackbox, uh, and I do have uh, three different Jackbox. I've got uh, number two, three, and five. Um, this may get a little naughty, we'll say. It may not be good for the kids or people with delicate sensibilities. Either way, I'm expecting a good time. Uh, hope to see you there, and uh, you know, hope this helps.